Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the East Side. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. I'm Quay Barnes. I'm the chair of the Mideast Area Commission, but I'd also like to acknowledge our Greater East Side Coalition partners, the Far East Area Commission, and the chairman, Jennifer Chamberlain, is here with us today, and also the Greater Southeast Area Commission, whose uh, chairman is Ava Gardner. And so I want to say welcome to our neighborhood. We are gathered here today to announce a bold initiative that makes keeping people safe the highest of all our transportation system priorities. This means a lot to me personally, because until recently, the Barnett Road and Livingston Avenue intersection right near here was considered one of the most dangerous in the city. We work with Mayor Ginther's office, city council, and the Department of Public Service to make it safer to get to Johnson Park, which is located right over there, and this great Columbus Public Library, Barnett, and all the other destinations in our neighborhood. Whether you drive a car or a motorcycle, bike or take the bus, it's important that all Columbus residents are as safe as possible when they use our transportation system. So I'm very excited to have several people join me today. First of all, a guy I've known a long time, Mayor Andy Ganther. <laughs> Assistant Director of the Department of Public Service, Randy Bontrager. And the City of Columbus President, my favorite, Shannon Harton. First, I'm honored to introduce our Mayor, Andy Ganther. Welcome, Mayor Ganther. Good morning. What a great morning here in the city of Columbus in this uh, great neighborhood. And to Quay and to all of her colleagues that are part of the Mideast Area Commission, uh, thank you uh, for having us and for all of your incredible partnership throughout the years. To Director Gallagher and the Public Service Team, to Columbus Public Health, to Director Pettis and Public Safety, to our great divisions of police and fire uh, and Columbus City Schools, a great partner. And I see Pat Lesinski from the library system here and so many other great partners. And obviously none of this work, mayors can propose whatever they want, uh, but unless council appropriates resources and partners with us, it doesn't get done. And so to Council President Harden, uh, and we have a tremendous chair in Shayla Favor, an incredible advocate. I want to shout out her as well. Today we stand here together to address an important aspect of making every person in every neighborhood safe when they take a bus to school, drive or bike to work, or walk to a friend's house. I've said before that mobility is the great equalizer of the 21st century. And it's critically important that when our residents are using our transportation system, their health, their safety, equity, must be front and center. Equal access, that's what today is all about. That's why today we're announcing the launch of Vision Zero, a bold global movement to eliminate, eliminate, not just reduce traffic related deaths and serious injuries. Vision Zero makes protecting human lives the single highest priority of the transportation system. Vision Zero Columbus is a shift in mindset that assumes traffic deaths and serious injuries are preventable, not inevitable. Just like we can proactively identify risk and take steps to prevent disease, we can take steps to prevent crashes. Think about this for a second. In Columbus, we know that just under 10% of our streets have 60% of serious crashes. Less than 10% of our streets are responsible for 60% of our serious crashes. And that's why we're standing today near the corner of Barnett and Livingston. As Commissioner Barnes said, this intersection was recently considered one of the most dangerous in Columbus. 
And that's why we wanted to announce this initiative right here. We've been able to incorporate best practices in engineering to add turn lanes, improve the sidewalks, and put in the latest pedestrian safety features. We're adding a shared use path to provide more and better mobility options to our residents going to our great libraries and recreation centers just like these here in this neighborhood. Each of these improvements communicates how best to navigate this area and make people safer as a result. Our law enforcement personnel work hard every day to take impaired drivers off the roads before a crash happens. These infrastructure improvements and enforcement efforts prioritize safety. However, we have much more to do. On Columbus streets, 57 people were killed in traffic crashes in 2018. That means that there are more than 50 families, dads and daughters, moms and sons, sisters and brothers who won't see their loved ones walk in the door tonight. This figure has been steadily increasing over the last five years. We cannot accept the status quo for our families and our neighborhoods. Columbus is growing and adding thousands of residents. We must fundamentally change the way we look at our transportation system and make safety of our residents our number one priority. And that's why we're all in with Vision Zero Columbus. Vision Zero takes a holistic, data-driven approach to how we design our streets and our sidewalks and also looks at enforcement, education and engagement and policy to prevent serious and fatal crashes. The Vision Zero Columbus team will create an action plan by the end of this year to lay out attainable goals for our city. We will work across departments with community stakeholders so that this plan addresses equitable solutions in the near and the long term. I want a plan that's accountable to our residents and that allows us to follow the data, to learn what is working and what is not, and to adjust where necessary. Vision Zero Columbus is not a pipe dream. This movement began in Sweden in 1997. Since then, traffic fatalities there have dropped 30%. Oslo, Norway, a city of about 800,000, comparable to our great city, got close to the reality of zero last year with only one, one traffic death in a city of 800,000 people. We can do this, Columbus, and our families deserve it. We know that there were five in Oslo in 2018. It's this kind of momentum to reduce traffic deaths and serious injuries that we want to see in Columbus. In fact, Vision Zero is gaining momentum across the US and in Ohio. Ohio Department of Transportation Director Jack Marchbanks was unable to be with us today, but we are grateful for his leadership in making our interstates and highways safer for all of us and has been a great partner in this and many other projects. Here in Columbus, we're bringing together our health and transportation experts, our schools and our residents to tackle this together. Director Gallagher and the Department of Public Service is spearheading this effort and has named a Vision Zero Coordinator, Maria Cantrell. Maria? Thank you for your leadership and helping to get us here. We look forward to you helping to make sure that we realize this vision, this goal for Columbus. But we know it's not a single department effort. Maria will be supported by the mayor's office and other city departments and divisions, including health, police, and fire. Many of those are, folks are with us here today. I want to acknowledge some other great partners that are here as well. Uh, William Murdoch, the Executive Director for the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission. William, thank you for your partnership. 
Joanna Pinkerton, President and CEO of CODA, the Central Ohio Transit Authority. I want to acknowledge both the Franklin County Engineer's Office and, as I mentioned earlier, Council Member Shayla Favor, who's been an incredible advocate and partner with this work. We know that this can't be realized, this vision cannot be realized with a siloed effort. We must make protecting the lives of our residents and visitors the top priority for our transportation network. One death or serious injury for any family is one too many in our community. That's why I ask you to join me in working toward Vision Zero for our community. It's now my pleasure to introduce Assistant Public Service Director Randy Borntrager. Good afternoon. I wanted to convey uh, a message from Columbus City School Superintendent, Dr. Dixon, who couldn't be here today, but wanted me to share that on behalf of the Board of Education and Columbus City Schools, we are excited to be a partner of the Vision Zero Columbus movement. We need safe routes to schools for our 50,000 students across Columbus, whether they walk, ride a bike, or take the bus to school. We stand side by side with the City of Columbus to achieve Vision Zero Columbus, and we are already making we are already working with our principals, families, and students to help them be mindful of all aspects of safety. The Vision Zero Columbus expands that lens and gives us an opportunity to teach our children to learn what, what all makes a transportation, transportation system safe. And thank you to Mayor Ginther. The Department of Public Service takes this responsibility very seriously. The safety of our residents is always job number one for us, but as the father of two very young children, I am alarmed that tra traffic crashes are the number one cause of serious injuries and deaths for kids between 2 and 14. This makes me even more tuned into making our transportation system safe. Vision Zero is based on the fundamental principle that our transportation system can be safer through strategic, data-driven approaches to engineering, enforcement, education, evaluation, and community engagement is a fundamental and complete rethinking of how we evaluate and engineer our roadways that reevaluates decades of decisions. To do that, Vision Zero looks at the transportation system as a whole, using input from our city departments and divisions, partner agencies like ODOT, CODA, Franklin County Engineer's Office, and MORPSI, and all transportation, transportation systems users, including motorists, cyclists, pedestrians, and transit customers. We start by identifying crash risk through data. We are using the crash reports to identify high crash locations to create a high injury network. This will help us prioritize our work. As the mayor said in Columbus, we found that less than 10% of our streets, streets have 60% of our serious crashes. These tend to be multi-lane roads with heavier traffic that also have higher speeds. A good example is right here on Livingston Avenue, but you also see crashes in busy areas like East and West Broad Street, Cleveland Avenue, and other places like the Ohio State campus in downtown. We also look at census data, census data to be sure we're mindful of equity for people who don't have vehicles or have low incomes. We will look at safe, equitable access for minorities and those that have language barriers. Data shows us that those populations are twice as likely to have serious injuries or deaths while walking. And people walking, biking, and riding a motorcycle are the most vulnerable road users. Pedestrians are involved in a very small percentage of crashes, just 2%. Yet they represent 21% of all those who are killed or seriously injured on our roadways. In fact, people who are walking are 14 times more likely to be seriously injured or die in a crash than a motorist. 23 pedestrians died on Columbus roadways last year. People with lower incomes, Latinos, and African Americans are twice as likely to be killed by walking. And we are also asking our residents to weigh in. We have a map and a survey at columbus.gov slash vision zero, where everyone here and everyone at home can let us know their areas of concern. You can also access the, the website at our wonderful library right here. This data will help focus our resources to have the greatest impact towards getting to zero. Once we gather all this data, we will start to look at all the factors that might contribute to the crash. Is the road design confusing? Are there sidewalks or shared youth paths so people can walk or ride their bikes safely? Are speed limits being enforced? 
Is signage clear? Is there a policy that needs to be addressed? This is what we mean by a holistic approach. We don't start by assuming that individuals did something wrong when a crash occurs. We look at the entire transportation, transportation system through the user's point of view. We can take these steps to change the design of a road and make other changes so that crashes don't happen in the first place. And we will monitor any improvements we make in these locations and then apply lessons learned throughout the city of Columbus. We ask for all your help in being clear about how you talk about and report crashes. We have a handout that gives some tips on how to do that, what we can pass out. As Mayor Ginther, Ginther mentioned, Maria Cantrell, a transportation engineer, will be our Vision Zero coordinator. Soon we will uh, convene an advisory committee with members who represent many diverse interests and areas of expertise from throughout Columbus. And this will make sure our process is inclusive and transparent, accountable, and looks at crashes from many different perspectives. We will ask for their assistance in creating the Vision Zero Action Plan. I look forward to working with all of you to make Vision Zero Columbus a reality. And I look forward to going to bed at night knowing that my two kids are home safe too. With that, I would like to introduce City Council President Shannon Hardin to the podium. So good morning. It is a pleasure to be out here with so many great community partners. Uh, thank you to Randy, thank you to Maria, uh, thank you to Director Gallagher, but to our mayor. Uh, just appreciate your bold leadership on Vision Zero. Um, it is critically important. And I am uh, also very thankful for my colleague, Chair uh, Shayla Favor, who couldn't be here today. So our goal in the city is to protect human lives. It's our number one priority, we say it often. That means that whichever neighborhood you come from, that all of our residents deserve the right to move in their community safely. Vision Zero will focus on equitable solutions in our transportation system. There is no one size fits all solution and we have to take a look at what makes sense for each different neighborhood. For example, Many of the areas in our city with the poorest health outcomes also have a disproportionate amount of severe and fatal injuries from traffic collisions. We need to ensure that we hear directly from those neighborhoods, from those folks to address their unique needs and concerns and ensure that everyone has access to safe transportation in Columbus. While this will be a process and we will work over months and years to get to our, our goal, one of the first things that we can do, that everyone can do, is to slow down. Speed is the fundamental predictor of whether or not you walk away from a crash. You can also be a part of the solution by going to columbus.gov slash vision zero and telling us about dangerous locations. We want to know what you are seeing every day when you go to work or when you go to your medical appointments. Because this Vision Zero will take all of us working together, including our residents, our community partners, all of us come together to make sure that all of our loved ones arrive home safely. So please join us in this effort so that we can reach zero traffic deaths in the city of Columbus. Thank you. That concludes our press conference today. We can um, uh, talk about this afterwards individually if you'd like. Thank you.